So I just started to get into the uh, digital modes and uh, wanted to get my Tintech Jupiter here uh, on the air and uh, emailing back and forth with Tintech a little bit a while ago about what which one of their products to use and uh, it sounded like the 1213 kit um, which is right here was the way to go. Um, you do need to run the radio in Vox mode for that to work um, and that's kind of where I started running into some problems uh, and we'll get into that in a second. So one of the issues I was having once I hooked this up was um, I wasn't able to key the radio um, with the Vox setting on and I was getting a really high output on the on the waterfall so I needed to bring those levels down um, well actually I needed to get the transmitter to, to work and bring the receive down um, they do have the instructions and they talk about attenuators and and uh, jumpers and, and where to set it. It was kind of confusing because on their uh, on their one page here in the front they tell you which jumpers to use for the for the Jupiter but in the inside when you get to that part they're uh, telling you different jumpers. Um, and then the jumpers they told me to use when I emailed them were the ones that didn't appear to, to work. So as far as the jumpers going I only got the jumpers actually help me with anything on the transmitter side. Uh, in one setting I, I wasn't getting a key up until I put it into the other uh, settings. Um, so let's go into the um, what I did about um, bringing uh, the levels on transmit and receive uh, uh, tuned in. So one of the first things I did was uh, after chatting with some people online um, they had mentioned similar issues, uh, other people having similar issues and um, I was given a little uh, diagram on, on the attenuator to make. So what I did is I've got the uh, the 1213 um, kit here and I have that wired to a little box I made um, which is a little attenuator box for both transmit and receive and that lets me dial in um, the waterfall where I want it to be and uh, allows me to get my uh, transmit and my ALC to a, a proper level. Um, and I'll go into one of the problems I had uh, next about what I was seeing with the ALC on this radio. So the problem I was having with uh, with transmit was I could get the radio to key when I was on box mode. Um, however, I couldn't get anything to... I couldn't figure out how to get the ALC right. People were saying get your ALC up um, uh, you know, into the red and then back, you know, you kind of want it to be to be flashing or blinking a little bit, and they said even you know back it down even further. Well, I either had no key up, or I was keyed up and that was full on red. Well, I finally just messing around figuring it out. Maybe it's not that big a deal. I should have figured it out quicker. I don't know. Um, what I figured out was is I had my Vox gain set at three, which means it's going to take pretty loud signal to get my radio to key, and at that point when it keys, the signal is going to be too loud and it's going to just you won't have anything for your ALC. So what I did is I take ALC, uh, the voice, uh, the Vox gain, and I take that up to about a 40. I take that up to 40 percent. It allows me to key up the radio with a much lower signal, and then I use the attenuator box here uh, to dial it in. So a little bit of tuning when I get set up. It's not really a big deal, and I can get this to the proper levels I need for for uh, transmitting. So one thing I, I read online and I've actually seen myself as some people were complaining that the radio tends to key up by itself. Um, I've seen that. Uh, the only thing that I've seen that actually appears to cause that is I have some interference or something going on uh, on the waterfall that I can usually cut out with the bandwidth um, selector. Sometimes I can't. I think I could probably show you right now. It probably would do it if I turn it on. See how it's keying? Usually I can tune that out. Right now it must be pretty strong and it's, for some reason, this signal, which you can see, hopefully, right here, I can usually bring that in enough, this guy right here. For some reason when it does this, it's like a carrier and it's doing some sort of popping. And when it does this popping sound, somehow it affects the whole rig and it causes it to key up. Not sure what that is. Usually, um, usually I can bring this down, cut that out, 
or if I'm on a working on a singles section here or a, uh, working to say uh, someone on the band I can tighten this all up into that, that specific area but for some reason this thing is uh, causing my radio to, to, to key up I, I don't know why that's looping back and causing the radio to key up. Let me just add one last thing that I saw about the, the individual I, I, I read talking about the key up on the, uh, the, the unnecessary key up the radio was doing um, apparently what they did is they hooked up an opto isolator um, to the unit and didn't use the Vox. They hooked it up to the key. Uh, so what I'm assuming, I haven't seen a diagram or anything, that they're hooking the opto isolator um, to the key and to um, somewhere in the line of the uh, transmit section. Um, sound coming from the from the PC. So when it sees that, it triggers the, the key to come on, which uh, would work. Um, but for now, I'm going to try to keep uh, just using it the way it is, unless it becomes a major problem. Um, plus, it keeps an extra wire off my off my desk. So we'll see uh, how this works out for now.